Hi, this is Chef Dave Bishop from the Chef to You. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to show you how to make beef enchiladas, restaurant quality that you get in a Mexican restaurant you can make here at your house. Let's take a look at our ingredients. We'll be making this in three steps today. We'll start out with a taco meat. We got a ground beef, salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, and a little bit of flour. Then we'll come over here and make our sauce while our meat's cooking. We have our water, our tomato sauce, salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, butter, and flour to make a roux. Once our meat and sauce are finished, we'll take our flour tortilla shells. We have our shredded cheese here, a four blend of Mexican cheese. And we got a little bit of parsley. Let's go ahead and start browning our meat off. Let's go ahead and start with this uh, ground beef or ground chuck. We're going to add to this pan. We're going to break it up. We're going to let it brown. We're going to take the grease off of it. Our butter to our pot over here. We'll let that melt. Then we're going to add our flour to it. Our butter is melted. We're going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. We're going to stir this and let it cook about a minute or two. Get our flavors in there real good. We're going to add our herbs to our uh, roux. We got uh, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, salt. Put in our water real slow. Stir in that roux so it starts thickening. Pour in the rest. We added one and a half cups of water. The last we're going to add is six ounces of crushed or tomato sauce, whatever one you have in the house. Go ahead and stir this. We're going to go over to our ground beef um, and go ahead and season it up, drain the fat off, and uh, let's, we'll stir this every couple minutes. We're going to add our spices and herbs. We got one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to allow this to stir up for a couple minutes, get those flavors right into the meat. Let's go ahead and our flour. I like to add a little bit of flour to mine and just a pinch of water, get the moisture in the meat. And the flour gives a little bit of body to it. Stir that in real good. I'm going to slowly pour that water in. That was about a quarter cup. Use your own judgment. Once that water is going to evaporate out, just going to give a nice body and color to our meat. Okay, our meat is done. You notice there's no moisture in there. It's got a nice body, nice shine. Let's go ahead and set this off the stove and take a look at our sauce. We're almost to a boil. Let's bring it right to a boil and we turn it off and set it uh, to the side. Let's start by taking some of our enchilada sauce. Put about three or four ladles in the bottom so our shells won't stick when the bacon in the oven. And I'll just move that around a little bit. Set that down. Now when we're going to take our meat, remember we got a pound of meat here and we've uh, cooked off, took some fat, so you're going to have about three ounces of meat in each one. You want to work it down so it'll be uh, in every bite, bring your shell over, tuck it tight, and then roll it. You want to set the seam side down so it doesn't unroll on you. We're going to repeat this three more times. Bring our meat. Pull it in tight, roll it, seam side down, set them right next to each other. Finish rolling our fourth one, put it in the dish right here. Let's bring that back around. 
Take our enchilada sauce. Like I teach my students and my cooks, you want to pour just a little bit of sauce over top of the shells. Don't rub them because we want the uh, tortilla shells to get moist. If we uh, rub them, we'll have spots of dry on there and they'll burn before they uh, get completed. You don't want to see any dry spots on your tortilla shells. If you have extra sauce, you can pour it down the sides, or if you feel you don't need it all, just set it aside, use it someplace else. Our last two items, we got some blended Mexican cheese, four cheese right here. Sprinkle it lightly all over the top. If you want to use, use one kind of cheese, like a, uh, a Colby, Monterey Jack, a cheddar, that'd be fine too. Our last item, our presentation, a little bit of parsley. If you have a little bit of dried uh, cilantro or even fresh cilantro, that'd be great on top. This will go into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes just until that cheese melts. We just took them out of the oven. They cooked for about 8 minutes. The cheese is melted, a couple brown spots. A couple things to mention to you. I got 10 inch flour tortillas here. This can be two servings per person or if you have other items, you can just go one per person. You can pre-plate it, or you can serve it just like it is. Or you can go with a smaller flour tortilla next time and just give two per person, put a little bit of Spanish rice next to it. Let's go ahead and move two of them over to this plate. Okay, that operation was successful. Let me reach out of the pitcher right here and get some fresh salsa. Let's take that and put it right across the top. And our last thing, let's take a little bit of fresh cilantro. Set a couple pieces right here on the top for presentation. Here we go, our finished product. Two beef enchiladas in a flour tortilla shell. Homemade enchilada sauce on top. Cheese, a little bit of parsley. Baked in the oven about eight minutes. I put a little bit of fresh pinko de gallo on top. Garnish it with a little bit of uh, cilantro. Fresh beef enchiladas, you can't beat it. This is Chef Dave Bishop, cooking and teaching. Till next time. May God bless.